My name is Steve Ellis. I work for a firm called Langen Engineering and Environmental Services. We're a uh, thousand person traditional engineering, architectural, environmental, site civil, geotech firm based out of northern Jersey. Uh, we have seven international offices and about 25 offices in the United States. Langen um, has been doing static scanning, traditional survey static scanning for a long time. Static scanning, we were one of the first ones to do the scan to BIM. So Langen was very versed in using, and we're like a shop, um, static scanners, mobile mapping systems, all of our traditional survey gear is all Leica. So we were familiar with like a Cyclone and Revit modeling and, and using point cloud data. So when Langen got their first mobile mapping system in 2014, we leveraged the existing knowledge in LiDAR feature extraction manipulation processing through the Leica tools. But the projects we were doing were more linear based, you know, static scanning was all architectural based, it was all facilities and facades and location specific. So the tools that we were using at the time didn't facilitate an easier extraction process or uh, the performance we would need to maintain revenue and, you know, make profit on jobs. It was just taking too long using Cyclone. So we started looking across the industry that what some of the other Leica Pegasus, we have a Leica Pegasus 2 as our mobile mapping system. So we started reaching out to the Leica community on what was the mainstream tool for feature extraction of the point cloud data for their, their clients. And they kind of gave us a couple, there was a couple different uh, tools that were being used, but like, or, but uh, Topodot from Certainty 3D was, was the, kind of the primary. We got our, our for like 2015, we switched from trying to do everything within like a cyclone to Topodot, and we've been kind of using it. And in the last year, we did so much work that we had to increase our um, our annual bucket of, of days. We went from the 500 to the thousand, so we're in definitely in a growth mode with uh, with uh, Topodot. But it really came from a necessity for more of a semi-automated using the tools and the templates that that it provides and some of the features it provides to be able to extract greater sizes and lengths and, and types of data over a more of a static based um, thing. It was, you know, in early December of 14, we actually went over to the Certainty's office and we met with Ted and, and his staff and really liked the atmosphere and the way they all worked together um, in the direction that Ted was taking the company. So we felt the culture of Certainty really was a, was a drawing point too. Um, but the, the tools are very stable. Um, it had been, you know, developed with the same processes and the same end results that we were looking for. We liked the way that, um, it, first of all, it ran inside a microstation. So we, most of our CAD guys are microstation friendly. So that was an easy learning curve. We didn't have to, to do something different or learn an, another, you know, you're using the navigation tools, you're using like uh, the base tools for a microstation. A lot of our clients require DGN, which is the microstation output, which made it nice. We didn't have to do a lot of conversion from AutoCAD to microstation for deliverables if we were doing something differently. Um, the transportation-based tools, you know, we do a lot of transportation, you know, that's why mobile mapping was made was to do to drive around and capture roads and linear features so the tools the way they work um, we felt it was one of the better tools to work in the purely lidar side of the house to um, to do a lot of long extractions quickly well it improves the business because we can we can extract and, and get through larger data sets faster, which means we need less man hours, and which means we make more profit, right? Because it doesn't take us as much effort to do the same amount of work as it might in another, in another package. And you know, that's you know, the bottom line if you're in business is revenue and profit. You know, we do a lot of urban collection. Um, New York City, you know, a lot of urban around where our office base is for an engineering, you know, and we're purely 
civil, so all of our collection is all survey grade. We use survey control with the mobile mapping system, multiple passes, so we've got huge data sets. Um, and one of the best ways that we've found that TopoDot is helping us now is in the Connect version because it, the 64-bit version that runs on MicroStation Connect, because we can just throw more RAM in the box. And it's a direct correlation between the amount of RAM you have is the amount of points that you can load into TopoDot. So with the 32-bit version in the select series, you are limited on how much data you can load. So, you know, TopoDot has really gone well, and that's a real selling point for TopoDot now is the 64-bit version. So we can max out RAM in our high-end workstations, and we can load trillions of points in at the same time and really fly through it. Um, but in the early days when we were doing certain mobile mapping, like I said before, we were using uh, some Leica tools, Cyclone and some other other tools, and they weren't very user-friendly. There wasn't a lot of semi-automated, you know, with the way the templates work, you can kind of step down through the roadway and you can get through a lot of miles faster. Whereas TopoDot was built for that purpose of, of doing that kind of uh, extraction. So that was one of the key selling points. Software firms or software companies don't listen to the client base and, and be as dynamic and as uh, quick to move and help their client base. You know, uh, I think Certainty 3D is small enough and it's the, the leadership team is aware that the clients pay the bills. So when a client comes to them with a question or a thought, you know, hey, if, if we had a tool that could do this, we could do that with it and it would really help. So I think, as back to the culture, I think the culture of Certainty 3D bodes well for a real interactive relationship. It's just not a software user kind of thing. It's, I think that they feel that they're part of the team and the process, and they're always asking for input and, and you know, showing a new tool, but, and then it generates some kind of thought process, and then they can take it and move forward with it. So I like that part of it, and that was one of our real reasons. And then I also like the um, kind of pay-as-you-go model too, mm -hmm. right? I mean, not a lot of you know, a lot of software, you pay a flat fee per year, whether you use it five days a month or 50 days a month. But I like to pay as you go, you know, almost software as a service kind of situation. But um, you know, you pay if you if, if you use it all the time, you pay more. If you don't use it all the time, you you can get away with a cheaper price. Yeah. So it doesn't cost you something to have it sitting on the shelf and not use it.